folks, have you ever had the feeling that you were being watched? Or was it a knowingness? In other words, you knew for a fact that someone was there, stalking you, harassing you, methodically and maliciously ripping your life apart from a distance, from the shadows. If apart from a distance, methodically and maliciously ripping your life apart from a distance, from the shadows. This is the reality for quite a few individuals who have come to an understanding that they have indeed been targeted by groups that have special interest, such as secret societies, branches of the government, including the NSA, CIA, FBI, local law enforcement, including the NSA, CIA, FBI, local law enforcement, special interest, such as secret societies, branches of the government, including the NSA, CIA, FBI, local law enforcement, the military. I'll go as far as to include non-human entities on that list. And nobody wants to talk about this. Why? Well, this is not a situation that you can easily help someone out of or protect them from. T t tell them, brother. Tell them again, man. I said tell them again. About this. Why? The military? I'll go as far as to include non-human entities on that list. And nobody wants to talk about this. Why? Well, this is not a situation that you can easily help someone out of. Got that right. Or protect them from. We are walking around in a real-life Matrix movie, folks. And those agents in the movie are real. Yes, they are. I'm not talking about computer programs. I'm talking about living in our physical reality evil beings that can kill you. Some people think that these targeted individuals are delusional. Some people know that they are not. Now, I want to talk about what's happening here. So, at this point, you have two choices. And in the famous words of Morpheus, you take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit, the rabbit hole, hole goes, baby, baby. All right, all right, let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Talk to him, brother. Talk to him. The individuals who are targeted are targeted for several reasons. For now, I want to discuss the individuals who are targeted because of their blood type. Let me explain this. What I am about to tell you, many will find difficulty accepting. But I will try to present this in a way that makes sense to most people with intelligence. Now, for those of you who are old enough to remember, there was a time when people who were going to be married and wanted children visited the doctor to test their blood type compatibility. This was done to ensure healthy procreation. These days, people just have sex. And whatever happens, happens. Mm. They don't know their child's blood type they don't know their own blood type. Facts. Human beings belong to what's called the ABO blood group system. And each person is one of four blood types. A, B, AB, and O. This is all determined by your genes. And each person carries two sets of these genes. The A and the B are both antigens. Now an antigen is basically a sugar or protein in the membrane of the red blood cells. This causes your body to have an immune response. Or in other words, it causes your body to produce antibodies against the antigen. These antigens can come from outside the body, and antigens such as A and B are produced by the body due to DNA. So, a person with blood type he knows right here it says antibody and you see it says in plasma and this is the reason why they want you this is the reason why they pay you money so you can so you can go give up that plasma you you thinking that you just trying to get a couple of dollars but the beast got a different agenda 
They they getting they doing that plasma because they want to know who you are. You see what I'm saying? This is how they get down. They want to know who's the Superman, who's the Flash, who's the Spider Man, who's the Black Panther. They want to know who's the Incredible Hulk. Type A would have the A antigen on their red blood cells, and they would also have B antibodies in their plasma. A person with blood type B would have the B antigen on their red blood cells and A antibodies in their plasma. Now a person with blood type AB has both antigens on their red blood cells, but they do not have either of the antibodies in their plasma. Blood type O does not have A or B antigens, but there is both A and B antibodies in their plasma. This is why blood type O is the universal donor and blood type AB is the universal recipient. Most people are blood type O, then A and then B. The rarest is blood type AB. Are you with me so far? The RHD gene is what makes your blood type positive or negative. This is the rhesus gene and it is found in both humans and primates. This is why it was mistakenly named after the rhesus monkey. This gene is actually the D antigen. Now, I want to make this clear. This does not mean that we came from primates or are in any way related to them. As much as people try to tell you that we are similar, the fact is we are quite different. If you want to say that primates and humans come from a similar template of design, I will accept that more than I will accept primates naturally evolving into humans over time. When it comes to this RH factor, most people have this D antigen and are considered to be RH positive. There is only about 5 to 15% of the world's population that are RH negative. And this is where things get interesting, folks. We are not sure of exactly how many genes are in humans, but it has been narrowed down to the estimations between 19 and 25,000. Of these genes, there is around 1% that cannot be found in any other species on the planet. If you take one of these unique human genes to genetically manipulate the growth of an animal, amazing things occur, such as a thicker neocortex or bigger brain. If you can add a certain gene to improve brain development of a species, could you add a gene to retard the development? As I stated, most people are RH positive, but the small percentage of people who are RH negative have some very interesting attributes. The majority of people who are RH negative are of European descent, although there are a very few number of blacks who are as well. People who are RH negative tend to have reddish hair, blue, green, or hazel eyes, as well as sensitive vision, lower blood pressure and body temperature, sensitivity to heat and sunlight. They also tend to have higher than average IQs, some claiming to have an ESP. In fact, many professional psychics are RH negative. Aside from this, they cannot receive blood from any other blood type unless it is blood from someone else who is RH negative. And it is very likely that a woman who is RH negative giving birth to a child who is RH positive could produce an immune response and attack the child like a virus resulting in the death of the infant. Because at birth, some of the child's blood mixes with the mother's. They have found a way to prevent this from happening but the woman would have to know her own blood type and her partner's blood type beforehand. Now understand this, folks. There are efforts being put forth by special interest groups to identify these people. And in certain circumstances, many of them are being targeted. This can be simply someone following them or harassing them, and in many instances not by just one person, but a gang of people on hourly shifts. That's right. These situations are hourly shifts. Tell them. Tell them, war. Hourly shifts. A gang of these suckers. On hourly shifts. 
person, someone following them or harassing them, and in many instances not by just one person, but a gang of people. I'm, I and this is where the concept gang stalking comes in. I'm, I'm tired of hearing these people saying, man, gang stalking is not the real word, man, shut up. It's a gang of assholes and they stalking you. Gang stalk. Hourly shifts. These situations often end in violence and could lead to the victim coming up missing. But who would target these individuals? Well, uh -oh. the Basque of Spain and uh -oh. France seems to be where this blood type originated, and it is... Uh-oh, look at them devils right there, man. See a bunch of demons. These are your demons, y'all. There they go right there. All of them. All of them. The lizards. The Jesuits. A fact that the royal family are descendants of this blood type or bloodline. Now, the blue bloodline is the most sacred thing to the royal family. They believe that this RH factor is what separates them from other people. And they do not believe in breeding outside of that bloodline. But we have our... These are your people that's, that, that, that's, that's responsible for your tyranny, y'all. These are the folks right here, man. They're the ones responsible for your tyranny. It's negative people. It goes beyond them, too. Of different ethnicities around the world. So, if you knew that this RH negative blood type did in fact somehow show up outside of your royal bloodline, and your goal is to keep this bloodline intact and in control, what would you do? Exactly. You target, <laughs> manipulate, and control the people who have this blood hear what he's saying. outside of your world. You knew that this RH negative blood around the world. So, if you knew that this RH negative blood type did in fact somehow show up outside of your royal bloodline, mm. and your goal is to keep this bloodline intact and in control, what would you do? Exactly. So they, so they, so there you have it, y'all. Is, is is that what you think? Is it is it is it a bloodline thing, people? Are the targeted individuals a RH negative? Huh? RH negative. Is that is that your blood type, y'all? Huh? We come we come from the royal bloodline. Outside of that bloodline. But we have RH negative people of different ethnicities around the world. Oh, shucks. So, if you knew that this RH negative blood type did in fact somehow show up outside of your royal bloodline, and your goal is to keep this bloodline intact and in control, what would you do? Exactly. You target, manipulate, and control the people who have this blood type. To number one, keep them from having children with this blood type mm. and two kill them off mm. but not before observing them not before finding out if they have any special abilities or value now we don't know if this d antigen was added to our genetic code to dumb us down or if it was removed to make a select view more unique what we do know is that there is an agenda for individuals who are targeted based on blood type. You better believe it. Know this, folks. People who are RH negative are also more susceptible to mind control because of their sensitivities. Mm. And I believe a contributing factor to this susceptibility could be the amount of melanin in the skin. Wow. So, as an evil elitist, if you want to control people, and you find out for some reason you can't control them because of their genetics, then you just wipe them out, leaving the only people you can control, people like yourself. And you manipulate them, you follow them, you sabotage their life, hoping that they will just want to kill themselves. You like hold on, let me, let me rewind so this back, man. are also more susceptible. Know this, folks. People who are RH negative are also more susceptible to mind control because of their sensitivities. Now that's that's pretty interesting right there, y'all. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know. T to me, I don't... 
to me, if anything, the ones with the RH positive are probably more susceptible to the mind control. Because if if this is a bloodline thing, and if you're saying that there's more RH positive out here in the world than RH negatives, and since there's only a handful of RH negatives out here, and then the government goes ahead and target the RH negative, it don't seem to me that the RH negative will be more susceptible to mind control. Seem that if anything, the RH positive people, which will be, I guess, the masses or the sheeple, will be more susceptible to the machine. Because they're already under the high mind hypnosis anyway. You can't talk to them. Tell me what you think, y'all. And I believe a contributing factor to this susceptibility could be the amount of melanin in the skin. So, as an evil elitist, if you want to control people and you find out for some reason you can't control them because of their genetics, then you just wipe them out, leaving the only people you can control, people like yourself. And you manipulate them, you follow them, you sabotage their life, hoping that they will just want to kill themselves and maybe a whole bunch of other people around them in the process. Can I get a no-no there? Can I get a no-no there? Hey, man, y'all tell me what y'all think, man. The video getting a little too long. It's almost over anyway. That's a pretty little baby girl right there, man. She is so adorable. And I mean, look at that happy. I tell you, boy, it's something about when a black man and a white woman come together and they always create a beautiful biracial child. You cannot... Then you cannot argue that. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. You know what I mean? No matter what. When they come together, man, the biracial child will always comes out beautiful. Tell me what y'all think, man. Is it a blood is it a blood type thing? Do we come from royalty? I know I do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. DB Gang Stalk Assimilation Player Player, the best channel up on YouTube. Holla back, y'all. We out. Don't be a bot.